Simplify one and all. I'm so grateful to introduce this next lady. She really is Simply Fab. This is Hayley Rhea, everybody. She's going from strength to strength with her very gorgeous voice. Now, last time I saw her, she was singing with Sheridan Smith, everybody. Jealous? Maybe just a little bit. She's here now. Anyway. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Not a problem. Love and my to imaginary it. cards. I just shuffled them <laughs> pretensively like that and then put them down like I'm Parkinson. There we go. So, what, you, you're coming joining us at Pride this year? I am. I'm back on the Sackville stage on the Sunday and I can't wait because this is the first year that I've been, you kind of, I've been doing it for a few years now, but now I've been. Working harder to get my to get myself back up on the on you're, the head. You're, you're up there now. I'm up you? there. Yeah. You're up there. I'm up there. Are you excited? What are you bring us by the way? What just just know, gifts or just songs? <laughs> to myself, I guess. I was going to say the <laughs> gifts backstage is fine by me either or either. What songs do you think you'll be doing for us? Uh, well, I am going to be doing a few musical theatre ones because I've got a few. Uh, yeah, I've got a bit more time now, and I know. Well, you I know. That, theater, yeah, you? that's what I train in. So you you were in Sister Act. I was. Yeah. I was. So all who, the. Who were you in Sister Act? Dolores. God, <laughs> who else, everybody? Who else would you be that? Hey, <laughs> and uh, so you were a you were a nun. I was it. Yeah, I was a nun. How yeah. did you find it getting down on your knees? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you got up and you went and stood next to Sheridan Smith. I did. That was that was amazing. That was such an experience. Now, we've known each other for a while now. But yes. You kept that. Secret, secret. Yes, I did. We, we, management and stuff like that, powers that be, we did have to keep it secret. But then when we did do the big launch on the Monday, it was amazing. And the fact that we got to do it in the Albert Hall, it was just ridiculous. But for me, it was being in Manchester and also being in Nottingham, seeing my family see me, and then looking up and seeing you and you and Tony up in the audience going, Period, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so you're going to bring in musical theatre, so what type yeah. of musical theatre do you think you're going to bring in? I might, I might do something from Sister Act, I might do something from Greatest Showman, I'm not 100% sure yet, you're possibly. Do, this is me, surely to goodness. Maybe, I'm not 100% sure. I've, I've, what I've done, in fact, on my Twitter feed is ask people what they'd like to hear me sing, because I always get stuck and I don't want to sing the same stuff, and I know people have favourite songs it's and stuff like that. It's a good doing it, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just like a bit of a jukebox. Ask people what they want. Yeah. It's a novel idea. Exactly. I couldn't do it because I've not got enough repertoire. <laughs> Um, but, and so I've been doing the same show for 21 years, but, you know, change the wig, change the dress, think it's brand new. So anyway, um, so I just give my secrets away, woo, magic. So you're going to be doing that for us. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pride as well, isn't it? Yes. Quite, pride quite important to you. It is. I've got a lot of, of gay friends and they've just, obviously being in the musical theatre industry and stuff like that I've seen the hardships and stuff that they go through and it's just the incredible feeling of family no matter who you are no matter how whether you, you've come out whether you haven't come out whether you don't know where you are in life yet yeah, everybody nobody judges you Every, I've, I've always noticed that if you arrive on your own mm -hmm. you leave with about 10 friends this is true and it's and it's just great and every year my my friends list gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and i've kept those friends as well so it's my really, really gets good. bigger every year i don't know what that's all about i don't think i've been sober since the millennium to be honest <laughs> with you but yeah, that's vodka now. So you're doing that. What else have you got lined up? I've just, I've got a few. I've, oh, I knew you'd do this. I've got a few bits and bobs. Yeah. One of which were, which, which will I will blah, 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 mm. put my teeth back in. I'll come back and tell you all about it. Lovely. But when? for now, how I'm, long? I, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I knew you'd do this. I knew you'd do this. I will come back and tell you all about it when I'm allowed to. Okay. But at the moment, it's all under wraps. But it. It will be revealed very, very soon. Today's show feels like top secrecy, doesn't it? It feels... <laughs> I'm not allowed to know this, not allowed to say that. I love it all, though. So, you've got all that coming up. Anything else yeah. wonderful coming up in your um, world? No, just, just a few tours and stuff coming up next year, once yeah. again, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet, yeah, but... But basically, you're but, busy. Yeah, I am busy, and I'm really, really happy to be busy. It, it's great, and I get to see the UK, and I get to see friends and family in the audience and stuff like that, so it's, uh -huh. it's amazing. I'm very, very lucky to be doing a job that I love. In fact, I don't feel like it's a job because I love it so much. What made you want to get into this job? Oh, pushy mother. Gypsy <laughs> <laughs> all over again. <laughs> um, it was just one of those things. In fact, I, I, I wanted to be a lawyer when I first was, I was young and then I saw the, <laughs> yeah, I saw the fact they had to go to university. I was like, nah, oh, no. nah. Now I had, um, I, had a, I, I sang and danced from the age of four, um, did musical 
uh, lessons and play the piano. I play six instruments and stuff like that. Yeah, so, okay, here we go. Piano, uh, all four saxophones, <laughs> uh, guitar, flute, clarinet, and I can just about do a bit on the drums as well. So well, if it all dries up, you can be one person. Exactly. Like that, right? <laughs> Walking around picking the gardens. Like that, that'd be good. That. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time today. Absolute pleasure. Have, have I missed anything? Or where, where was you? What are you doing? Planning in a few months time? No, nope, we're not going to get that. You're, you're trying, aren't you? I, I am very trying. <laughs> well, we're going to keep up with it and you're yes. going to come back in a few months. I am indeed. It, so yeah. We'll be able to talk about it fully then. Yes. Probably. And um, I'll be coming watching it as well, won't I? Thank you. All right, then. Cheers. Thank you, Hayley. <laughs> Since we are talking about love and pride, one musical has given us that exact message. It's a new musical called Closets and it's at Hope Mill. Now, by the time this airs, it may have already sold out. But if you haven't got a ticket, make sure you get one. We at Your Manchester have been right behind this project from the very, very start. So let's talk to the cast of Closets. So tell us first of all about the story. So the storyline basically starts off with Henry. Uh, he's in 1988 mm -hmm. and he's going through a tough time with his mum and enters his closet to do something that he can't kind of go back on and he ends up in 2018 and meets Ben and they time travel across the universe together. It sounds beautiful. Now you've come to this quite late on, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't meant to be in here. No, but you're loving it. I am loving it. I, I, the only reason I actually took it was mm -hmm. because um, they offered it to me on the Friday and said take the weekend to think about it. And on the Saturday I was going to Pride in London. Yeah. And I was going to say no, and then he walked on the Pride float. And I was like, that's the weirdest, I've never met him before, that's so bizarre. Oh. And I was like, well, <laughs> That's meant to be then, is it? It's Should I use a big word? It's serendipity. It's serendipity. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Giving you so big yeah. words. And I said yes, and I'm really glad I did because I get to work with these three and they're amazing. So what would you say the importance of this particular musical is to the world as it is at the moment then? Um, it's well, it, it shows that you know acceptance is still a problem now, and, and that we still in 2018 it it has improved, but it's you know it's not totally there yet, and we do still need you know, th these messages to be put out. And, and there are lovely messages. And there's also lovely morals about, you know, how we should be with other people. And, and you know, again, acceptance and self-expression and loving who you are. And so, yeah, it's, it's absolutely current. It's not just a thing of the past. And times have moved on an awful lot, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, knowing that people can talk as well. Mm -hmm. You really kind of want that message to be put out there. So that obviously, these two boys, these two characters, find it so hard to tell anybody mm -hmm. what they're going through. And in 2018, we're still facing those problems. People are struggling to either come out, to tell their parents, to tell their friends. You know, all those things, we want to get the message out there that it, there is help and it is okay. One of the biggest things for this as well, what we want to say, to when you come to this show, we want you to come dressed how you want to dress, mm -hmm. wearing what you want to wear, yeah. uh, with who you want to come with, and to feel safe in this mm -hmm. environment. Where if you come and see the show, you will, you will feel so cuddled up and so safe, and that's what we want to give everybody. And how long is it running for then? It's only 10 days. Only 10 days? Yeah. And then it's, it's surely with music like this got to have longer legs and carry on somewhere else. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, they've got lots of ideas for it to turn into a feature film, and mm -hmm. hopefully they'll maybe take it on a little tour somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a beautiful place to start in Manchester and at the Hope Mill, which is such a renowned theatre to work at. You know, it's, we're all excited to work at the Hope Mill, so yeah, it's going to be good. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Check it out. Closets, the musical. Well, hello everybody, here we are over in Sports Corner with our titters, you're looking very dapper. Well, I thought I'd dress accordingly because today we've got the sport of the day's poker. Now, tell everybody who suggested that to you. Well, this was suggested by the Mr Johnny Fines, yes. otherwise known as Zach Mayo, from An Officer and a Gentleman the other night. Which we showed the other day, yeah, mm -hmm. which is fabulous. And it was his choice and it was a big thanks to all the cast, they were brilliant. They were lovely, lovely with them. Yeah, lovely with Fabulous, us. fabulous people. Can you believe you're lifting me? I thought it was very good of him, mm -hmm. very noble. I think his, his real name is actually JCP. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, today we're talking about... Poker. Poker! Mm -hmm. Oh, I like a good bit of poking. Uh-huh. Uh, the origins of the game were a little bit uncertain. Oh, are they? Because I think it's a, a combination of several games. The French game, Broke, P-O-Q-U-E. And the German, Pochspiel, is the other game. They've got similar bits in their game that... A similar to poker, so that's where they think the origin cards. come from. Yeah, cards. And the game's constantly evolving, so like five card draw and right. uh, Texas, Texas Hold'em is another one. Hmm. And so we 
It's, it's evolved, constantly evolving. Right. Uh, it's mainly known for being for coming from America and it's been... I thought it came from the Wild West. Well, this is it, from America in about the early 19th century. These are records of it. Right. And it's believed to have spread throughout America because of uh, the Mississippi. The steamboats on the Mississippi. Yeah. It's always played on, you know, those showboats. Oh, the, the showboats, yeah. Yeah, which, and I actually looked up, I didn't realise how long the Mississippi is. It starts off in an Minnesota. And ends with an eye. Yes, I know, but the actual river starts off near the Canadian border. Does it? In Minnesota. M. And then it goes through uh, Iowa, Missouri. Aye, that was Arkansas. Right. Yes. Into Mississippi, yeah. and it flows into the... Um, what well, flows into the uh, Gulf of Mexico, yeah, yeah, at the bottom. So it actually travels the whole length, right? And it's just so, so. And I don't know if they went into the other rivers on the showboat, but it's like if you look at them, it's like a tree. So if it went on, if they went off, it's and off then that's why it's covered all of America. Oh, yeah, well. Mhm. Well. Mm mhm. Mm so what are the rules then? Dare I ask? Oh, the rules. Right. I, I wish I knew myself. <laughs> Do you not know the rules? I do, I, know, I, well, I can tell you. It's can a bit long-winded, to find oh. all the rules. Well, What's right. the idea? The idea is, it's a game of chance. <laughs> okay, yeah. A game of chance. So that means there's no when rules. There's no rules, right. <laughs> there's different scorings, different scorings. Right. right. The highest hand, yes. as I know it, playing with just one pack of cards. Yeah. Uh, the highest is a straight flush. Oh. Now, a straight flush is where you've got them running in uh, sequence, the highest one being ace, king, queen, jack, and ten. Right. But they've all got to be of the same suit. That's a straight flush. The one below that is four of a kind. So, say you've got four sixes and an eight, that's the yeah. next one down. Then there's a full house, which is three of one and two of another, sort of like three queens and two threes. Equates. Yeah. Then we've got flush, which is, uh, which is five cards of the mm -hmm. same suit. Same That's same. obvious, yeah. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. there's a, uh, and then there's a straight. Don't like that. Uh, that's like six, seven, eight, uh, six, seven, five, four, three, but all of different suits. Yeah. Uh, three of a kind. Yeah. So like three, three jacks. You can see that in the ink drum. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's Two pairs. How much money can they work? Oh, loads. Loads. It actually became a popular game uh, around about the 1970s. They had the first World Series. Right. And suddenly it became a global Because uh, I just game. think about Vegas. Uh, well, yeah, Vegas, it started off... Initially, uh, Nevada was... There was no gambling in Nevada. Oh. But because it was considered a game of chance, yeah. the Attorney General... Yeah. Gave them permission, permission to because it's not actually it's not actually, right. And then obviously yeah. when they changed the rules and allowed gambling, yeah. Vegas emerged. Yeah. And it's played in every casino going, isn't yeah, it? Well, yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah, too many. So, is it? I don't too know. Too many. I've been there once. I didn't enjoy it. I was on a Cadillac with Elvis. <laughs> Did you get married there? Yeah, I didn't get married there. No, I'm classy. I got married in Cheshire. Oh. Next week you are coming to us from the Spice Girls. I am, yes. Uh, and, um, you're going to do two pieces from there, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. yeah um, One about the power of women. It is girl power. Girl power. Girl power next week for and, me. Uh, something a little bit special. Something, yeah. Something a bit sporty. Well, I'm going to run over back to my couch now to close the show off. Okay, no. All, All right, right lovely. I'll do it for her because she's oh, not here. Miss you, by the way, Michelle. Yeah. Bye, Michelle. Ta-ta, titters. Off Bye. I go. Well, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the programme. Shell's back next week as we come to you from the Spice Girls exhibition here in Manchester. Now, remember, if you are enjoying this programme, please tell all your friends and make sure you subscribe to your Manchester. 